Hello, my name is Tiffany from Studio T Coops, and today I'm doing a kombucha review. A good friend of mine said, Tiffany, since you love kombucha so much, can you give us a ranking? Absolutely, I'm here at your service to do it. Now, I've just finished photographing these three bevies. Hold on. These three, so I'm gonna taste test them and give you a comprehensive review. So the first one we're gonna start off with is kind of probably not gonna be my jam, which is the peach in ginger. Let's crack it open. None of these are cold. I'm too lazy to put them in the fridge. Please do not explode. That would be great. It's good that it didn't explode. I have had that before. It's actually not too bad. I may take that one back. If you like the taste of ginger beer, you'll love it. You'll really like this. I'm not a huge fan of ginger beer. That's just a personal preference. I wouldn't buy this for myself, but if someone bought it for me, I wouldn't say no. I would give this a six and a half to seven out of 10. So I'm gonna try this beverage. Do not explode. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it looks like it's got some, oh, it didn't explode, that's good. Okay, let's tip it in. Whoa. Oh, it smells nice. It's got like a sweet scent. I feel like it's probably gonna be a little bit like a Pasito, but let's have a go. Let's have a cheeky sip. That is quite refreshing. Wow. No, that's actually real good. First one I went, had kind of went up my nose and was really uncomfortable. This one, really nice. It doesn't give me that like, ooh, feeling. I'm gonna give this an eight, oh, an eight out of 10. Quite, I really, really like this one. So this is at the, at the moment at the top. And the last kombucha that I'm gonna have today is the raspberry and lemon. I am obsessed with raspberries. Like anything raspberry flavored, like that's my jam. So I'm very curious to see if this will be as good as the other one. So let's crack it open, boys. Ooh, it's got a little tang to it. A little tang, ooh. I can't go, wow, this is the bee's knees. I will, I think I've got to put this in second place because compared to the uh, passion fruit one, let me, let me finish this one off and I'll quickly have a dip into the other one. I don't know, it's got this really bizarre aftertaste and I'm not, I'm not vibing it. Let me go back to the passion fruit one and see what I think of that, hold on. I still think I like the passion fruit. So, when it comes to today's ratings, Oh, my cheeky kombuchas. Number one, passion fruit. It's really refreshing. I think a lot of people would like this because it doesn't go, it doesn't have that like uh, thing when you have kombucha. Second place goes to raspberry and lemon. It's got an interesting tang and aftertaste. Can't say it's my favorite, even though I'm obsessed with raspberries. I feel like it fell short from expectation for me. In the last one, which I knew it was gonna be in last place, is peach and ginger all because it's a personal preference and it had a really like when i tasted it can we just replay what my instant reaction was i think from that facial expression you know it's going to be in third place i want to say thank you all for joining me on my kombucha review today i hope you learned something i hope you learned that i am not a fan of ginger beer it is going to change your life knowing that information <laughs> Oh, and if you're wondering about my hat, uh, you can't buy it. It's been a test run. I really wanted to go and sell some cool groovy hats. Um, this is firstly with my old logo. And secondly, I wasn't vibing this hat as much as I could. I actually got a small and I think because I have such a big brain, I should have gotten a large. But anywho, you live and you learn. Thank you.